What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Biscuit Dog. We're back at the prison, and uh, I think this is going to be our last day at the prison, to be honest. We narrowly, narrowly escaped becoming a zombie in the last episode, and I don't really want to tempt fate again. Plus, I've only got 16 shotgun shells on me and one box of shells in the bag, so that's, that's not enough, you guys. I've got loads of ammo, but for crap guns that don't seem to be working properly, I think I've got to up my skill on guns, in general. I definitely think we have to take out the hunting rifle and go practice with that, because I can't hit the side of a barn with that thing. Anyway, you guys, I'm sorry about the lack of videos this week. I mean, I'm trying to do as many as I can, but... The power situation in my country is looking really, really bad at the moment. I'll show you guys a schedule of all the power cuts we have to deal with. It's uh, it's really not pretty, but I'm trying to do my best, so that's the last I'll say about that. But uh, nothing really we can do about it. Okay, so this could be the worst mistake Mike ever makes, to be honest, because we narrowly, narrowly made it out last time. And uh, let's just make sure we've got all the bullets. Six in there, 16 on us, and then a box in the bag. Not great. Enough to go back in and see what's going on. There's... Don't do this to me. Already? We're gonna do this already? Let's just make sure this one's down. Uh, I don't want to make the same mistake twice. It looks like... Uh, yeah, that's not good. It looks like things have changed in here. I don't know what we're going to find through this door. No, no, that's not good. One for you. All right, you guys. There was a bunch of gym equipment in here that I really wanted, but uh, I think this is it. Look at this. Yeah, this is just, we don't have, we don't have the bullets, man. This isn't going to be good. We got a lot of loot out of there in the last episode. So we got a bunch of food, a whole duffel bag's worth of supplies. Um, I really wanted to go get some gym equipment so I could build a dojo in the bottom of my new house. But uh, I think we might have to come back for that once we found some more shotgun shells because things are looking ugly in there. Car's not starting either. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm, I'm actually... I don't want to go back in there. I'm super glad we're leaving. <laughs> let's just get out of here while we can. I wonder what's going on around the front. It's looking pretty quiet around the front. There's our alarm clock, which did nothing. Uh, yeah, still pretty busy out here. This place is a death trap. There's no real reason to come here. I've confirmed it now. You couldn't build a base here. There's just too many zombies. And uh, there's too many blind corners. It's just awful. It's not a good place to come. Let, let's, uh, I took one for the team. If you're playing Project Zomboy, don't come here. <laughs> it really isn't any good. Man... I want to find some more shotgun shells. Shotgun shells are super useful. I think... Yeah, cigarettes. Thank God, we need cigarettes. Matches will take. Painkillers will take too. Okay, I thought I'd looted these, but uh, clearly not. You just gotta stay frosty out here, you guys. You never know. Bad things could happen at any minute. Toothbrush, not gonna need that. Alright, there's another police van down here. Looking okay, nice and quiet. Nothing in the back there. This is the first one, so I'm fairly sure I've looted everything in here. Yeah. Looks like we got the key to this one. Nothing in there, though, either. A football and a skirt. What could we do with a football? I don't have one. Might as well take one. You never know. Why are we freaked out? What's going on? We need a smoke? Oh my god, I thought there were zombies. I mean, there are. Let's just go have a smoke. Alright, jeez. This place is super stressful. I don't recommend it. Alright, okay, we sorted out his anxiety. Let's drop the hammer. Let's not drop the hammer too hard or I'm gonna run into something. Uh, Bad visibility today. By prison. I'm not coming back here for a long time. 
There's got to be a gun lock up in there somewhere. Uh, I'm just not willing to go find it right now. If we find a crate of shotgun shells, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll go check it out. But, uh, yeah. Not looking good. You'll, you'll probably definitely waste more resources getting to the good stuff in there than the good stuff that's actually in there. So, it's all an equation, you guys. And it's not looking good. I was never very good at maths. <laughs> Alright, I just want to go home. The old hatchback is really banged up too. It's definitely not as zippy as it used to be. Uh, we're gonna have to do some repairs in between episodes, I think. Ugh. That's better. Let's just take a quick drive around, make sure uh, there's nothing rude waiting for us. Everything looks okay. Let's, uh, let's just reverse into place here. I found out that m mouse traps are much more solid than they look. Don't drive into a mouse trap. You'll bend your car in half. <laughs> a little silly. But I suppose it is an object. We can't get too crazy. Okay. We're home! Thank God for that. I'm gonna just go close the door quickly. Just in case we uh, get a group of unwanted visitors. We don't want that. Anybody hiding behind here? I think we're good. Wow, that was a really stressful excursion, you guys. I don't I don't want to go back to the prison for a very long time. I'm sure there's lots of other places we could go with better loot and less zombies. It's just a, it's just a death trap. It's really, really ugly. I wonder if the cabbages are ready. <laughs> I forgot about these. They should be ready now. Uh, they're flourishing. They are young cabbages. They have no disease, but they are thirsty. All right, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to water the cabbages. Let's get to choresing. A lot of stuff's gonna have to happen around here because we've been gone for days. Full watering can. Let's equip that primary. We're gonna be carrying a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. It's only gonna take a minute. Full water. Is that it? Info. Well watered. Good. Okay. Let's give you a full water too. You as well. Oh no. Okay. All right. Let's go fill up the old watering can. Ah, this is uh, yeah. This is much better. A lot less stressful. Very nice. No zombies. I like it much better this way. Awesome. Where were we? Patch number three? Patch number two? Can't water that. That's gonna be full. That's gonna be full. Let's water that. Let's water that. Let's water that. Good. Let's check the info on this one. Young cabbages? Disease, yes. Well watered. Flourishing. Do they all have disease now? Let's check this. Disease, no. Ah, the last one was the one I didn't have enough fertilizer for. I found some fertilizer and I used it on the cabbages, but I didn't use it on the last one, and that now has a disease. I think I'm going to dig these up. I don't want the rest to catch disease. Uh, let's go get a let's go get a spade or something. A little gardening trowel. Let's grab one of those. Let's put that back in there. All right, good. Let's get over here to our diseased cabbages. 
Really? Do I need a spade to dig up the cabbages? That seems a little heavy-handed. Shovel. Uh, grab one. I should do it. Dig graves? Dig, remove. Yes, let's remove some things. Remove. Good! Wonderful. Let's dig another row. Right there. That's how we wanted it. Well warded, no disease. Let's just check all of these. No disease. No disease. And no disease. Okay, so it definitely had something to do with the fertilizer, it looks like. Wow, man. A lot to get done around here. The apocalypse is not easy to survive alone. I'll tell you guys that much. I'll tell you something else as well. Mike took a really big risk there. I, that prison run was a really, really bad idea. It was a great idea if we'd have gone in through the kitchen, looted all the food out of the kitchen, and then got the hell out of there, because there's really nothing in there. There's a, there's a bunch of like interesting cosmetic items and things like that. But those will kill you, man, and they're not good for anything. They just make your house look cool. So, it's a problem. I've been building a lot of stuff in here as well. I thought I might as well show you guys since we're home again. I've got loads of storage here. I'm going to make this into a storage room. And uh, I built some bookshelves here, and I laid down some carpet just to check it out. But it's, it's not looking good. So I think I'm going to dismantle all of this. And I'm going to turn this into Mike from the Bins' dojo. Uh, get some rubber mats from somewhere. Maybe some gym machines. A boxing bag would be really cool. I don't know if we can find one of those. I don't know if they exist in the game, but I hope they do. Because <laughs> that'll be awesome. Uh, basically, I've just got to screw around on the, on the first floor until I can build stairs. Which is a bit of a problem because I have loads of skills to get before I can build stairs. I've got to go up a whole level of carpentry, I think. Possibly two. So that's a lot of dismantling and stuff. I'm also working on electrical and mechanics, but it's going really slowly, you guys. So I'm going to work on that stuff in between episodes. Mostly just milling around the house, sawing down trees, stockpiling logs and planks. You know, the usual. Getting ready for uh, the big build, I guess. And uh, slowly, slowly raising our carpentry. Uh, I think maybe I'm going to start building log walls like one of you suggested. You could just construct and deconstruct them because they use rope and logs. And you don't lose any materials. And your carpentry slowly goes up. So I, I might just spend a few days just making and breaking down one section of log wall. Just to get the stats up there. Kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? If I don't do? If I don't do something, we're never going to get this house built. So yeah, I really, uh, if you're going to go to the prison, maybe go in through the back and just steal the food. I don't know if there's anything worthwhile in there. There's probably a few weapons and some armor, but it's going to be deep in there. And uh, it's really ugly. I think we probably have more success. We definitely have more success just finding a new town and looting the burbs. I mean, there's going to be loads of food there. There's still going to be loads and loads of canned goods. So I think kind of looking forward, maybe our next mission should be going to find one of the big towns. What are they? Muldra... Muldro, or I forget their names, but uh, there's two fairly large towns that we can go find and loot to our heart's content. That should be pretty good, I think. They're going to be a lot bigger than Rosewood. Rosewood's one of the smallest towns on the map, I think, and we've pretty well looted it bare. There's one or two streets we haven't gone down, but uh, we're only going to find pain and misery there, you guys. So, uh, yeah. I still can't believe that Mike's still alive. It's uh, it's amazing to me that Mike survived all of that. It was a, a it was a really touch and go there in the last episode, and I thought for sure he was going to get infected, but he didn't. In fact, if you take a look at his health, the scratch that he got in the last episode is completely gone. When I logged in this morning, he had a, a dirty bandage. I took it off, and there was no wound underneath it. So it was really a minor scrape, but it definitely set his heart pounding. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, also I've been doing some cooking I thought I'd show you guys just a few interesting things that I have going on here I made a bunch of bread dough and I've frozen it so it took yeast and flour and water I think to make bread dough I made enough for eight loaves of bread which I think make four slices of bread it takes one slice of bread to make a sandwich so it's good to have complex meals it's good to have as much complex food as possible i'm going to make as much bread dough as i can uh, i'm going to try and use sugar and make some cake dough 
cake batter maybe, try and freeze that. See just what we can get going on in the cooking department. I don't want to make too much stuff like this because the power is going to go out one day and then we're going to start needing gas for the generator. So uh, I've got eight bread doughs now. I think I'm just going to slowly make bread until they run out and I'm going to keep the ingredients dry. That's probably the safest way to do it. So I'm going to keep it as, as yeast and as flour and as sugar and all as raw ingredients because the dry goods don't don't go off as far as I know or they take a really long time to go off whereas fresh uncooked bread dough goes off really quickly so that's the plan in that department I've been messing around with a lot of cooking I've got a, a, a lot more stuff to try out like I said I want to try and make a cake I think that'd make Mike feel better <laughs> I want to plan a dojo for the ground floor of the new house because we're making our own house why not have a dojo? That's a great idea. Man, really the only thing that uh, kind of disappoints me a little bit about this game is that I can't use a lot of the stuff I've looted. Like, I know I've mentioned this before, but to be able to use the pinball machine to unwind would be great. Or to be able to dispense orange soda from the, the drink dispenser would be great too. Uh, the TVs kind of work. Sometimes you get like a garbled emergency message on them or something like that. Uh, so they serve a purpose. Same with the ham radios, but by and large, most of this really cool stuff doesn't work at all. All they'd need to do is just do a little animation of him using it. Even not. I mean, when he when he rests in a chair, he just stands next to it. So he could do the same thing here. It would just be cool if they were if they were useful in some way. It would give me more of a reason to go out and loot strange things. I, not like I need one. I'm going to fill my house with strange things anyway. Because uh, Mike spent most of his life very poor, living in the bins. So... If we can make it happen, Mike's going to have the illest mansion that Rosewood has ever seen. No one's going to be around to enjoy it, except Mike, but he'll have it, and that's what'll count. All right, you guys, we escaped the prison. Not much happened in this episode, just kind of a catch-up. I thought I'd show you guys everything that I've got going on. I am busy with a lot of projects back at the ranch here, and uh, I've got to start wrapping some of them up. So I'm going to be busy as electricity permits. Uh, doing the chores I've got to do before the next episode. So once again, I'm sorry for the lack of episodes. There's really nothing I can do about it. I'm kind of worried, actually, because the lights are going out a lot, and it's not good. But uh, yeah, let's hope for the best, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. I think I'm going to leave it here. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you really enjoyed it, uh, you can send money to my Patreon. I'm not going to lie. It'll help a lot. And we'll probably go looking for a new town in the next episode. If you guys have any suggestions of directions I should go in or anything you would like to see me do or want me to do, let me know down in the comments and uh, we'll address that in the next episodes. Thanks very much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace!